Hello and welcome to Bassmaster Fishing. Today you're joining me down on the Sabrine River. Now this video is aimed at the player who is perhaps new to the game and is looking to find the wrecks on the Sabrine River or you already play this game and you're looking to find the wrecks, the location of the wrecks on the Sabrine River or you wish to catch your first big catfish. Now, if the answer is yes to any of them things I have just mentioned, then stay watching. Okay, so keep an eye on the mini map in the top left hand corner for the locations here of the, uh, of the wrecks and where we are going to just have a quick look at catching a catfish as well. Um, I should have turned off, but never mind. I can circle around. Even I get lost on this water. If you've never played this game before, you can see just here just how much water you actually get to fish on in game. And not just on this venue, but other venues in the game as well. They are huge, massive, massive amounts of waters to fish on. Now, in this area here, can I go in here and turn around? No, I can't. I was trying to be smart then, but that was an epic fail. Right, let's just turn around. So where we are now in this area here is roughly the location of the wrecks. And I say wrecks because I think there's more than one. I, I think it's one boat that has possibly broken up into maybe three parts or maybe more. I'm not 100% certain. But if you fish around in this area, for example, if you see this little island here, we use that as a marker and I'll go to a place where I like to um, fish from for the for the first part of this wreck is here and I line myself up with that tiny little island what we've just sailed around there you go you can you can just see it straight in front of us so if I stop here and cast directly out in front we should find the location of the uh, of the uh, first section or one of the sections of a sunken wreck so here we go now this is just the approximate location of the uh, of the sunken wrecks so if you have a search around in this area you will find not only this section of the ship but other sections as well there's more than one section we may see two sections in this video here there you go there's the first section or the first wreck and maybe when I reel back we might see um, another one but have a, have a search around in this area and you will soon find the wreck locations just have a explore around Now, when the catfish are here, and, you've, and, and if you've never caught a big catfish, and I'm talking 70 pounders plus, in this location, you will catch your first catfish. All species of catfish are down here. They seem to like this area. Now, this is an outtake. This is a clip of previous gameplay and we've just seen a huge catfish go past and I knew they were in the area and I'm just sort of leaving the uh, the lure in the uh, in the water there hoping that he will come back and boom he did perfect strike now what I will say to you if you're trying to find your your first catfish down here is experiment with time of day and weather settings because various water temperatures time of day and weather settings seem to affect when the fish are here as it does in the game um, the fish tend to move around 
Um, I've caught catfish down here on sunny conditions at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. in the afternoon, and I've also caught them at various other times of the day as well. So just experiment with um, the time of day, weather conditions, and keep an eye on the water temperature. If you're not, if none of the fish are showing up on a really low water temperature or a really high water temperature reload the game and let them, and fingers crossed the water temperature has changed and uh, come back and try again because uh, you will catch catfish of all species in this location quite easily so if you've never caught a catfish and you want to catch I don't know what size catfish um, I've had 70 pounders quite often from here, 50 pounders and 60 pound catfish very easily from this location. Sometimes it's been very much cast and catch and I've been racking up the bass box um, down here. However, I recommend putting 80 pound line on. So if you're just starting the game, um, work your way up so you can afford to buy with the bass box the 80 pound line and a heavy rod is probably going to be better however i suspect you will be able to reel them in on the lighter rods as well but there you go look at that what a whopper Now here, if I've got the right clip, I caught a 79 pounder. So just watch this. Now if you caught a bigger one from down in this wreck area, let me know in the comment section below. Let other players know the biggest catfish that you have caught down by these wrecks. Let everybody know. Hopefully we don't catch that uh, long nosed car. There we go. Boom. Perfect strike. I got the right clip. <laughs> I was a bit worried then, I got the wrong clip. This is previous gameplay footage that I've got in my archives. And I'm just putting it together just to show a, uh, a bigger catfish. This may be my biggest catfish that I've had from down on these wrecks, actually. But like I say, if you caught a bigger one, let me know in the comment section below that you caught a bigger one from the, where this these wrecks are. And uh, get some bragging rights in the comments section. Hey, Wobbly, I've caught a bigger fish than you. And I'll give you the thumbs up. So stick around to the end of the video because I will just put up a few setups that I've caught catfish on quite easily on this particular river. They will be at the end of the video. There we go, a nice blue catfish, 79 pounds, 5 ounces. Okay, let's very quickly talk tackle. Obviously, you can go out onto the lakes with more rods than what I have got set up here. I've only got 8. I will go through from rod number 2 to rod number 8. Uh, rod number 1 has possibly got a lure on that, isn't going to catch you any catfish, but... All these setups from run number two to run number eight have caught me catfish. Uh, what I will say to you is I haven't got a drop shot rig set up here. 
obviously try the drop shot rig and there's probably a few other rigs i haven't got to i haven't got set up here but the jig head has caught me you know that's my favorite to be honest i've caught loads of catfish on the jig heads um but go and experiment and experiment on the lures as well let me know if you've caught catfish on any other lures it's all useful to for me to know and for other players as well pop it in the comment section below go hey wobbly have you such and such and caught a catfish um let everybody know um but um these setups here have all caught me catfish very easily all species on the supreme river that's about it from me so uh yeah tight lines and i'll see you all again in another video hopefully real soon